All right, guys, so vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is one of the most powerful things you can take that will improve your dream memory. Now, this is a very common vitamin. This is pretty much in every superstore, right? By the way, guys, go and check out Transcend Your Limits. We're doing daily vlogs. Vitamin B6 is really a fast way of improving your memory for dreams. And it's been proven to have some profound effects, right? The most notable of which is that it will improve your memory. You'll be able to remember things faster, in more detail, and it will be like everything you've, you know, experienced in a dream will be sort of organised and available and just easy to access, especially if you combine this with dream recall techniques like writing your dreams down, that sort of thing. So how do you actually use it? Well, there's no, there isn't really a recommended dosage for vitamin B6 regarding lucid dreaming. It's sort of still fairly new and there's not really much research that's been done on it. All I would say is that I've found personally that taking uh, you know, uh, more than your recommended daily allowance is good for recall. But then again, you don't need to take more than your recommended daily allowance because even taking one multivitamin and one vitamin B6 capsule or tablet will give you the dream recall that you need. There aren't really any side effects to vitamin B6. Obviously, read the label, do your research, that sort of thing. But as far as I've experienced myself, I haven't found any side effects. I haven't really found any negative reactions with things like nootropics or other multivitamins or that sort of stuff. So really, it's a fairly safe supplement. It's a very basic vitamin. It's not, not really going to interact that badly with anything. All I would say is take it on a full stomach, you know, eat it with, uh, have it with some food, but with uh, multivitamin, that sort of thing. But really, with vitamin B6, it's one of those things where you can sort of feel it out for yourself and see how you react to certain dosages. So start with, obviously, the lowest dosage. Uh, as with any supplement or, you know, thing that you're going to ingest. Start with the lowest dosage and then see how you react. Okay, and if you adapt well to it, and if you start noticing your dreams easier, be, being easier to remember, then obviously slightly increase the dosage. And you want to get to the point where you're able to remember five to ten dreams per night. Um, or, you know, if you remember slightly less than that, maybe you remember one to five dreams, you want to get to the point where you can remember them in some level of detail. You want to be able to recall, you know, what you were doing, how exactly how you felt, what you saw. Um, and you want to be able to write about one to two pages in your dream journal, A4 size, per dream. Okay, so when you get to that point, when you can recall that much information, you're probably at about the right dosage of vitamin B6. You can also get to this point without taking vitamin B6, by the way. So don't feel that you have to take this. Uh, now let's just recap, vitamin B6 is obviously good for memory, dream recall, and you know if you supplement this thing, it's going to help you remember more dreams. That doesn't mean you have to take this in order to remember dreams. You can just use this as sort of like a, an addition to what you're already doing, which obviously should be writing your dreams down, meditation, reality checks, the basics, you know. Um, so if you want to use this, go ahead and do your own research. Obviously, this is not nutritional advice at all. Um, this is just my personal experience. In, and, you know, I've taken vitamin B6 for a number of years. Um, on and off, obviously, I haven't taken it all the time. Sometimes I don't really need it. And you might be the same. Sometimes you just remember your dreams naturally, especially if you're taking things like Siltep or like OptiNeuro or just a multivitamin and you're meditating and you're writing your dreams down. You might not need this stuff at all. But if you are struggling... If you're finding it hard to remember dreams and you find that you wake up and everything's hazy and you just can't remember the actual things you were doing in the dream, where you were, who you were with, then it might be time to think about improving your dream recall. And that can be done either with supplements like vitamin B6 or by other things like, you know, the memory methods and the techniques we've covered before. Now, this is going to be a shameless plug for my uh, lucid dreaming course on Udemy, which actually has a massive section about dream recall. So if you haven't seen that, you can obviously go to Udemy, search lucid dreaming, scroll down and look for the one with the picture of the three boxes with the three sort of dream scenes. I'll put a thing here for you to see what that is. Anyway, that's Udemy. Uh, you know, you, however you get your dream recall up, however you improve your dream recall, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're going to be remembering more dreams, that's the main thing. Once you can do that, that's the building block for massive lucid dreaming adventures and all sorts of things that you want to do. But it really comes, the first thing that you should always bring it back to is, can you remember your dreams? Everyone has them, unless you have a sleep disorder, but can you remember what, you, what you're doing?
Can you remember what you're dreaming about? If you can, then you can move towards, you know, learning techniques and, le and lucid dreaming methods. You can do challenges, experiments, you can set yourself goals. If you can't remember your dreams though, you really shouldn't focus on any of this stuff yet because it's just not as important. Your first priority should be, can I remember the dreams I'm already having? And then when you can say yes to that question, then you can move on to learning how to actually control them. And they'll sort of go hand in hand as well. So when you do start remembering your dreams, you will naturally have lucid dreams. You might even already be having lucid dreams. You just, if you can't remember any of them, how would you know, right? So it always comes back down to this. Now, I've talked quite a bit in this video. Long story short, vitamin B6, go ahead and try it out if you're struggling to remember dreams. Start with the lowest dosage and then work your way up. Obviously consult your physician, doctor first or whatever, do your own research. I'm gonna keep saying that just because, you know, there might be the odd one person who actually does have a bad reaction and this isn't obviously nutritional advice. So, that, but that being said, you know, my, my experiences with it have always been good. It's a fairly mild supplement compared to some other stuff, certainly compared to some nootropics that I've, uh, that I've tried. So have fun with it, you know, see if it, see if it works for you but still focus on bringing it back to you, bringing it back to writing your dreams down, to meditation, to doing your reality checks, to doing things like affirmations. And another really good one, which I keep mentioning, but you know, I want you guys to try this. If you want to reinforce an affirmation, like I will always remember my dreams, just try changing your passwords on your laptop or your phone, Facebook, email, whatever, because you're typing these things in every day. So imagine the power if you type something that you want to believe into your laptop every single day. Like your password could be, I remember my dreams, 5381 or whatever, to make it more secure. If you type that password into your laptop five times a day for a year, there's a pretty good chance you're gonna believe it. Done.